facts and welcome to Saturday Evenings Posted Mostly Weekly Broken News with your host, Trevor Stewart. Thank you, Nick. You're welcome. Hello, friends. Welcome back to Saturday Evenings Posted Mostly Weekly Broken News with me, your host, Trevor Stewart. And this week, we're going to start with This Month in History. Uh, an article from the Evening Post on April 21st in 1933. Trousers explode. Not their fault. Weed killer dangers. Sodium chlorate. Why have I not heard of this exploding trouser technology yet? Sometimes reality is funnier than anything I can write. And moving on to our next story, something from NPR. From 4chan to international politics, bug-eating conspiracy theory goes mainstream. Right-wing Euro-factionists claim that EU is trying to force them to eat bugs after the European Union passed legislation that allowed mealworms and crickets to be counted as food ingredients. In my opinion, this is mainly for the French and the German contingent, but it does beg the question, what about the chocolate-covered ants? I'm asking for my mother. May the gods bless her soul. And moving right along to something from The Drive. Absurd 200-foot railway demolished after Canadian court closes shipping loophole. Sadly, this was the safest stretch of railway in all of Canada and greater North America. And moving on to Why Florida Why, our weekly, mostly, segment that asks the question, Why Florida? Why? Political mistake. Ron DeMeatball, I mean Ron DeSantis, signed into law permitless concealed carry in the state of Florida. This one also from ABC Action News Florida. UPC leaves 16K open hurricane claims to FIGA nonprofit. FIGA passes costs along via insurance bills. Because in Florida, not only is everything so dangerous it's trying to kill you, they also have concealed guns. And they want to charge you extra for it because those Florida Libertarians don't believe in real taxes. But moving right along. From NBC 29, in a bid to take over for Florida man, York County, Pennsylvania man does something unbelievably stupid. Police say naked man stole school bus with a dead deer in back and led officers on a merry chase. Sometimes, again, I am just outclassed by reality. I really can't make up anything funnier than exploding trousers and naked man stealing school bus with dead deer. And moving right along to something from NPR. Head twit, Elon Twitter, changed NPR's designation to state affiliate media. When NPR said something about how that wasn't exactly true, the twit Musk changed status to state-funded media, which is around 94% wrong. In related case, also from NPR, NPR decided to quit Twitter because they say they have lost faith in the platform's leadership. No shade, but shade. 
Moving on to something from the New York Post. Utah parents want the Bible removed from schools because of its adult fun time content. The pages upon pages of graphic begatting that is described. And all of the Song of Solomon. And moving on to our homegrown political graft department, we would like to say that the opinions expressed here are, well, our opinions. We are not alleging any legal misconduct, but we are certainly intimating some ethical and moral questionable behavior. Our very own Virginia political mistake and answer to Rhonda Meatball, Governor Yassa, Glenn, Upper DeSantis Youngkin, continues to tighten regulations on the sale of cannabis products, cracking down on some of the smaller farmers and distributors, and thumbing the scales in favor of Big Pot. All the while, while he's doing this, he is constricting the right to votes being returned to convicted felons as they get out of prison. Most of whom were originally convicted of possession and sale of cannabis product charges. If you still don't see the problem here, I'll leave you with it for a second. In fact, why don't you tell me your favorite color crayon, and I will draw you a pretty picture. Again, we are not accusing him of anything. However, we are also not, not accusing him of everything. And for our last story this evening, we would like to take a moment to remember Al Jaffe, of Mad Magazine fame, writer and artist who invented the back page fold-in and whose snappy answers to stupid questions influenced four generations of sarcastic teenagers. He passed away recently at 102 years old after having worked for the magazine for 95 years. And rumor has it that if you fold his obituary together correctly, you get his final snappy answer to a stupid question. Are you sleeping? No, I'm dead. Thank you for joining us this evening. For Saturday evenings posted mostly weekly broken news. I have been your host, Trevor Stewart, and as they say around here, two up, two down, VA, double deuces, I'm out, y'all. If you <laughs> from ABC Action News, mistake Ron dismantle. I mean, cut in, cut in, cut in. From ABC Action News. Florida political mistake Rhonda Meatball, I mean Ron DeSantis, signed our very own Virginia political mistake, an answer to Rhonda Meatball, uh, Governor <laughs> an answer to Rhonda Meatball. Governor <laughs> We're just gonna start this whole thing over from ABC Action News 
political mistake, Rhonda Meatball, I mean Rhonda Santis, signed into law permit permitless concealed carry. Try again. Okay. It is trying to kill... 